Hey guys, Marston in here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and as you can see from the title I'm sure we are jumping into another one of our Prime Battle team showcases. So this time around we are using the Pure Saiyans team. Now obviously this team uses one of the Prime Battle LRs as the leader so you would have to complete the Vegeta one in order to do this. Um, you can use the Int Super Saiyan Broly from the Broly movie story event once he awakens. Um, his leader skill is obviously a lot lower so you can use him and a Vegeta friend but we're trying to try out the teams and see you know how they stack up against each other so obviously we want to use the best leader we can. Um, this team uses a lot of the units that we've used already so we don't have to go over too much. Um, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Goku obviously two of the better free to play units mainly because they're easy A but just very strong units overall. Obviously the LR Vegeta himself whilst his key links aren't the best he is a very good unit as well. And then we have the two April Fools units. Uh, I did separate showcases for them. Very solid units. And then I just threw this Goku in because he's just going to be in the last slot. We're probably not going to see him do anything. But if he even does get a chance to do anything, he does at least have type advantage. So, of course, as usual, we are jumping into the Trunks event. I'm going to take the right path as quickly as we can. Uh, do the fight as quickly as possible and then jump into the start at the end and see roughly how long it took us now I've, i'm sure i mentioned this in like every episode of this so far and i probably will mention it in every episode to come but we're not going by the time as gospel as sort of like a leaderboard of this team is better because they completed the event faster because obviously there's a lot of things like rng from the map screen here um as well as things like rotations and stuff like that so we're not really it's not like a race specifically it's just an idea as to see how the teams prepare i mean if one one team is like majorly behind all the others then i guess it's kind of a good indicator but again like i say from watching that video we could have had terrible rng and got like ones for every single roll on the map screen so but I mean, this is going to be over in one phase. This easy AVG are very strong unit, so yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even need a crit over a million damage. A lot of these teams now are... Uh, a lot of these teams we've showcased have just been able to completely one-shot these uh, events. So much has changed since <laughs> back in the day when you could only use Super Strike characters and... Uh, that Goku event. Whew. So the eight bit characters not as strong as the uh, some of the other units on the uh, other teams, but I mean they're free SSRs. I'm actually quite surprised that they between the two of them they didn't quite take him out. That was a little bit unlucky, but Vegeta easily able to finish him off here. It's a real shame for Global that this Vegeta came out at the same time that the uh, transforming Vegeta came out because he's just such a better unit in like every way. So, because even as like an extreme int unit, that Vegeta doesn't really fit all that well on any teams. But I mean, he's a decent free-to-play unit. He's definitely, uh, you know, the Prime Battle LRs, whilst they don't compare to any of the summonable LRs, they're still very strong units in their own right. Plus, of course, the Prime Battle ones count as drop cards, so they can be used in the other Prime Battle events. So, he definitely has his uses. And uh, seven medals, at least it wasn't the five drop, I guess. So, what did we get? I think our Dragon Ball Seekers one has been the quickest, which was like two and a half maybe even under two and a half minutes that one seemed to go pretty quick we got we did pretty well on the map screen yeah just over two and a half minutes i feel like it was probably slightly slower than the uh dragon ball seekers but still incredibly easy it's one of those things a lot of these teams as long as they feature some of these really strong like units like units that are worth rainbowing like these two units are worth rainbowing even if you're not free to play so that makes these uh, kind of teams very easy. We'll definitely be moving on to some of the harder teams. I tried to go through some of the other categories. I really wanted to do the future, but there's just not enough like drop card units. So I have to see what kind of one we can do next and uh, 
stay tuned for the next episode so let me know down below what do you think of the prime battle pure saiyans team let me know what team you guys have been using to get your prime battle lrs i've seen a lot of people using the dragon ball seekers team now i feel like that probably is one of the best so let me know what you are running down below so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new you can follow my twitch channel or join my discord the link is in the description below and i will see you all again soon have a good one